Hey Psych2Goers, before we begin, we wanted to let you know that we're so grateful for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's continue with the video. Do you know your partner's love language? Everyone gives and receives love in different ways. A thoughtful present may be the most meaningful thing in the world for one person. A small touch may feel stronger than a thousand words to another. Whether your partner prefers gifts, compliments, or quality time, their love language tells you two things, how your partner loves and how your partner wants to be loved. So, how do you work with your partner's individual love language? One, words of affirmation. Does your partner enjoy compliments? Do they say, I love you multiple times per day? Some partners need to vocalize their feelings. They want to speak their love out loud to show that they care, and they want the same from their partners. If you want to tell your partner you love them, express your feelings face-to-face -face or write them a letter. Partners with this love language want to know in words why you care about them. Otherwise, your feelings may not get across. This can be difficult for people who keep their feelings bottled up, but if your partner has this love language, expressing yourself is the key to their heart. When your partner gets dressed up, give them a compliment. If they just cooked a delicious dinner, tell them how much you enjoyed it. You can also find opportunities to surprise your partner with cards or written notes. Their heart will melt each time you express how much you care. Two, quality time. Does your partner want to spend more time together? For this love language, nothing beats time spent together. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to go buy an expensive vacation. Just set aside an hour of your day to spend alone with your partner, because that hour will mean the world to them. To work with this language, reserve spaces in your schedule for your partner. You could have a cup of coffee together in the morning. You could plan a date night once a week or take a walk together after work. Whatever you choose, find time to give your partner your undivided attention. Three, receiving gifts. Does your partner cry every time you give them a present? Do they cherish every gift you've ever given them? For many partners, giving gifts is the perfect way to materialize your love. A gift represents the feelings of the gift giver. In other words, a cheap, lazy gift shows them that you don't care. On the other hand, a thoughtful and specific gift shows how strong your feelings really are and that you've been paying attention. If your partner has this love language, keep a running list of gift ideas. They'll give you little hints every once in a while, so keep track throughout the year. On holidays and anniversaries, this list will be your best friend. You can also think about memories from their childhood or mementos from a special moment you spent together. Remember, it's not how expensive your gift is, it's about how much effort you put into it. A thoughtful and emotional gift means more than its price tag. Four, acts of service. Does your partner do small favors for you? Do they make you breakfast or write you little notes? An act of service is anything that makes your partner's life easier. Maybe you do the dishes for them or cook a meal for your partner when they're stressed. The chore itself doesn't really matter. It's the message that counts. To your partner, that message is like saying, I love you. So go out of your way to help your partner. If you can do that, your partner will always feel loved. Five, physical touch. Does your partner love to cuddle? Do they want to hold hands everywhere you go? Some partners value physical touch above all else. A hug, a kiss, or a light touch on the arm shows that you notice and care about your partner. Physical touch is especially important in social situations. A little physical contact will remind your partner that you see them and value their company. To work with this language, intentionally touch your partner. Give them a hug or a kiss before work, hold their hand when you're sitting together, touch their arm or leg while you're talking. These touches may seem small and insignificant, but for your partner, one touch embodies all the love that you have to give. What's your partner's love language? Do you and your partner receive love in different ways? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you know someone or you and your partner are struggling with communication problems, high levels of conflict, disagreements over finances, the kids, or infidelity, just to name a few, we've partnered up with Regain. It's an online professional counseling service that could help. The service is risk-free and you can cancel at any time. And you can choose different counselors to find the right fit for you. The link is in the description below.